By dispatching the USS George W.H. Bush to the northern Gulf this week, Barack Obama recalled his tactics at the outset of the Syrian civil war in 2011. He first piled up a menacing armada opposite Syrian shores and told Bashar Assad he must go, but then he backed away from intervening in the Syrian crisis after all. Is that throwing back pattern being repeated in Iraq? How to interpret the posting of a U.S. warship opposite Iraq on June 15th, and for that matter, Barack Obama's comment two days earlier. We do have a stake in making sure that uh, these jihadists are not getting a permanent foothold uh, in either Iraq uh, or Syria. Yet he appears to have again developed cold feet. This is explained oddly by the CIA and Pentagon not having determined the exact makeup of al-Qaeda's ISIS, the Islamic State in Iraq, and the Levant, which has swallowed up much of Iraq's Sunni heartland. According to Debka's military and intelligence sources, the Islamists advancing on Baghdad are not one but two armies. The Al-Qaeda element has been joined by a hodgepodge of Sufi groups, Saddam Hussein's old Ba'ath Party guard, and U.S.-trained Sunni Awakening Council tribes. Iraq Wednesday formally requested U.S. air support, but Al-Qaeda lacks the fixed formations of a professional army making it an elusive target for pinpointed attacks. So the jihadis' advance may prove unstoppable, and even if Baghdad survives, it may be too beleaguered to function as Iraq's capital. Shiite Prime Minister Nouri al-Malki is hardly posed to meet U.S. expectations for setting up a national unity government to heal the strife. Iraq is more likely to break up into pseudo-states as a result of the al-Qaeda-led Sunni revolt against Maliki's regime, a Kurdish state in the north, a Shiite state in the south, and al-Qaeda and Sunni statelets in western, central, and eastern Iraq up to Baghdad's outskirts. ISIS also has plans to send its heavily indoctrinated foreign recruits back to their own countries primed for terror. The people in that regime, as well as trying to take territory, are also planning to attack uh, us here at home in the United Kingdom. Al-Qaeda's success in the face of Obama's vacillations may infect Iraq's neighbors with an epidemic of instability. This has been a Debka File exclusive presentation.